now we'll see a columns command uh, how to how it works so you can see a record here right and if you wanted to go this data set was created with properties 80 bytes right so when you edit this um, what you can see here is column 1 to 72 only if you want to see the extra 8 record just press F8 I mean sorry F11 so that you can see the entire 80 records and I wanted to know to which column this C is there on which column this is there so I can know by default by counting this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 16, 17, 18, 19, and so on. So suppose let us take this as an 30, 30th column. So, so this is hard, right? So this will be difficult to uh, count this uh, column number or the column position where this is exactly uh, this is placing. So when you write, especially when you write a COBOL program, so we need to follow a standard. So to write a statements or commands or any display statements, you write the programs the paragraphs you write so we need to follow some standard coding standard in order to write so and you need to know the column numbers to before you write that commands or statements so this is how this becomes very complex at the time so then we have a columns line command called as cols columns so that it will print the column so now i can clearly clearly get what in which uh, column it is it is at column 31 and I can easily get it so if you want to count this you have one two three four so on and get the count right and how do we turn on the columns just by typing columns columns it will get you the columns turned on and if you want to turn off it just type C O L S columns so that it will turn off the columns and if you want to go back here uh, see an entire records so I mean all columns so you can press F11 so that you can see an extra other records here that is 70 still 72 it was showing there right so now when I press F11 it was showing all the entire uh, other eight records that were not displayed okay so this is the main advantage of columns and uh, this is how we use it